Fred Mokri will not agree that he's weeping now. But he will still come out and deny it. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? He should be weeping by now. Seriously. But you know that all these politicians, they are not get shame. This good luck, Jonathan, eh? <laughs> Another. Yesterday, we learned that he went to meet a boy, a nephew. Was it yesterday or day for yesterday? Mama and Daura. Again, yesterday, he, he met with the party chairman, Adamo. Now, we are hearing that uh, the former president, good luck, Jonathan, has secretly submitted his All Progressives Congress APC presidential nomination and expression of interest forms. Is it possible? Is he going to do it uh, in isolation? I don't understand. Well, we've been hearing that uh, they are the screening, the presidential screening, that they've been delaying it. Even now, it is a uh, see further notice. Is he going to do it secretly or what? Or do we just declare him as the president? Because I don't even understand this kind of game that they are all playing. Sahar reporters on Thursday learned that Jonathan submitted the 100 million era forms a few days earlier in the national to the national chairman of the ruling party, Abdullahi Adamu. His form has secretly been submitted. He submitted his nomination form through the APC chairman a few days ago. A source in the ruling party privy to information said members of President Muhammadu Buhari's Kaba are still pushing for Jonathan to become the party's consensus candidate. Sahar reporters earlier reported that a federal high court sitting in Yanangua, Bayesa State would on Friday rule that Jonathan is constitutionally qualified to contest for president in 2023. Nobody is saying that he's not a qualified he should just come out and say i want to run nobody's going to hold him but all this a uh, hide and seek game is what nigerians cannot even fathom if you want to run you run if you are sure of what you are doing why are you hiding jonathan was nigeria's vice president between 2007 and 2010 he became the president in may 2010 following the death of president umaru musa yaradua and completed the latest tenure Jonathan won the 2011 presidential election but lost his attempt to secure his second term in office in 2015. Sahar reporters learned that Jonathan threw a prosy and the Solomon approached the court praying he is preeminently constitutionally, morally and legally qualified to contest the 2023 presidential election. The case with suit number FAC slash YNJ slash CS slash 2022 as Andy Solomon as the plaintiff, has Andy Solomon as the plaintiff, and the former president and two others as defendants. The judgment, which is the plan of the Asso Rock Kaba supporting Jonathan, is expected to be delivered by Justice Ama Adamu Dashen on Friday. Multiple sources told Sahara reporters on Thursday. Justice Dashen. Born on April 4, 1962, hails from Adamawa State. The case is Andy Solomon versus Dr. Julio Jonathan and two others. I understand tomorrow, Friday, is the day for the judgments for the Federal High Court in Yanangua declaring good luck Jonathan is eligible to contest. Is there anything? Okay, because some people said uh, if you have if you finish another person's tenor or whatever, you are not free to connect, uh, contest. I think uh, that is even far from uh, what people are thinking because if this guy goes, he cannot do more than one thing, then they will come back and tell you that uh, it is not the turn of the north again. The background, Jonathan had recently rejected his presidential form of the ruling APC purchased for him purportedly by a group of supporters from the northern region. Speaking through his media advisor, Ike Chuku Eze, the former president said it was an insult for the group to have brought to have bought him the forms without his permission. However, sources at Tosa reports has that claims by the former president that he did not authorize the purchase of the multi-million naira forms are far from the truth. Contrary to his deniers, former president Gulag Jonathan gave over 200 million naira to the governor of Jigawa, Mohamed Badaru, to purchase the APC nomination and expression of interest forms for him. A source privy to the arrangements had told Sahar reporters. Interestingly, the Jigawa governor Badaru had also joined other interested presidential aspirants to vie for the ticket of the APC by buying the 100 million naira nomination and expression of interest forms. 
He's saying, I will join the presidential race since everyone knows I'm a highly qualified person to do the job. Badaru was quoted as saying during an APC stakeholders meeting held at government house in Duse recently. The governor was also said to have told the gathering during the meeting that he was pressurized by his colleagues to contest for the presidential seat. His media aide, Anwalu Sankara, had said his principal had sought President Buhari's blessings before buying the forms. But Sahar reporters learned that the Jigawa governor had bought the forms and come up with the statement as a ruse to deceive Nigerians, as he was indeed working for Jonathan. It was further learned that Jonathan had backed out of the plan and swiftly came, come up with the denier and the APC national chairman, Abdullahi Abdamu, had refused to guarantee that the former president would be the consensus candidate of the ruling party. Jonathan was Nigeria's leader as a member of the PDP, which is now an opposition party. The reason why he, Jonathan, gave him, gave him that much money, over 200 million naira, was that he asked the governor to buy himself a form too in order to cover up the deal. A source had said, and upon purchasing the form, Jonathan alerted Buhari. Buhari told him to meet him with the APC national chairman. Abdullahi Adamu, but Adamu said he can't even guarantee him as a consensual candidate. At the, that point, Gulag Jonathan Ebele started denying that he purchased the form. Another source had said, Sahara reporters broke the story of how a Kaba in the ruling APC had pushed for Jonathan to succeed Buhari after being impressed by how he the former president never openly criticized Buhari government despite its ineptitude and the insult the APC as an opposition party hauled at him, Jonathan, ahead of the 2015 presidential election. The fact that Jonathan cannot spend more than one term in office if they manage to get him there, it also not lost on the cover. However, Sarah Reporters has also reported how Jonathan was later called a betrayer by the Kaba after he failed to fulfill some of the conditions given to him including conniving some PDP governors, convincing some PDP governors to defect to APC, following speculations that Jonathan was preparing to defect to the ruling APC and seek the presidential ticket of the party. Some Nigerians, including human rights lawyer Femi Falano, SAN, argue that his candidature will breach the constitution. Other Nigerians have also expressed different opinions on this issue. Falano had based his opinion on section 137 of 3 of the constitution which provides as follows a a person who was sworn in to complete the term of which another person was elected as president shall not be elected to such office for more than a single term falano had said some people have said that the amendment is not re retrospective and therefore cannot apply to dr jonathan Assuming without conceding that the amendment is not retrospective, it is submitted that under the correct constitution, a president or governor cannot spend more than two terms of eight years. In other words, the constitution would not allow anyone to be in office for more than a cumulative period of eight years. In Mawa versus in Yanko. Okay, and all those say whatever, whatever, whatever they are quoting. Uh, it happens so, 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 and so. It is not in dispute that Dr. Jonathan became the president of Nigeria in 2010 following the sudden death of President Umaru Yaradua. He later contested and won the 2011 presidential election. Having spent five years in office as president, Dr. Jonathan is qualified for contesting the 2023 election. The reason is that if he wins the election, he will spend an additional term of four years it means that he would spend a cumulative period of nine years as president of Nigeria in utter breach of section 137 of the constitution, which provides for a maximum two terms of eight years. You can imagine. Well, okay, well, let's keep, keep our finger across this man. Hmm. Okay, we'll go and arrest Mr. Jonathan and leave the stage for those who have passion and fire in their bones to make a better Nigeria, be a Mandela for Nigeria. 
he will lose again in 2023 not because he doesn't we don't love him but because he betray our trust and confidence to go to the party that disgraced ridicule rubbish and rigged him out of office the same apc led government that failed to investigate or arrest those that attempted to assassinate him it's all right we have also secretly heard even if a light lets him submit his interest form in the middle of the night, he is going to be disgraced. <laughs> oh my God, he's going to be disgraced. So guys, let's hear your opinion on this matter because this one is a past person.